Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the uh, upper body controls. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, this is a really really simple um, little thing to do. So we're going to go to create, we're going to go to NURBS primitives, and we're going to go to circle. Now um, we're basically going to, I'm just going to scale this larger so we can see it just so you can see it starts very tiny and at least inside my reference yours may or may not um, but I had to scale mine just so you could see it and now what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna snap these accordingly so one's gonna go to the root control right I'm gonna uh, duplicate this I'm gonna snap the next one and just make it a little bit smaller to the next joint and do the same thing here just duplicating and then I'm gonna scale this one smaller and then I've got one more here duplicate and maybe this one I make a little bit bigger right and then I'm gonna duplicate again and then I'm gonna go to the chest now for the chest I always whoops. I always make modifications to it because the chest always has uh, typically the arms in the way. So I'm going to hold shift and tap I to isolate this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold right click on this and I'm going to go to control vertex. And there we go. So in here, hold right click, control vertex. I believe it's this one. I better double check again. Okay. Hold right click, control vertex, it's going to be this one and this one. And I'm just going to grab these and drag them down. And that's it. And then I'm going to come back here and just make sure that it went underneath the arms. I can even go to control vertex again, have them both highlighted. Now I'm just going to scale them out a little bit, maybe even drag them down just a smidge more. I could do the same with these two also. Maybe I want to bring these down just a smidget. Maybe even, I don't know, round it out a little bit. Really, it's not too big of a, of a deal, just so you know. Um, but that does help a little bit. Um, and the reason we do that is just to sort of to signify that it's different from the rest of the joints. And as well, is we can grab it really from any direction we want. So. Um, to keep it underneath instead of going through the actual joint. Now I also, uh, I'll just duplicate this one again. And now I do a little different trick also for the clavicle. I'm going to rotate this at 90 degrees. And then I'm going to snap it in place. And I'm going to give it a, you know, maybe a little bit more of an angle, something like that. But I'm going to do that in a second. So again, I'm going to isolate this one. I'm going to go to Control Vertex, and I'm just going to grab this one in the middle and bring it up. And maybe even, uh, bring it up. And maybe even bring these ones out. Maybe bring these ones up into, possibly out something like that I think that'll work pretty well now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna just scale this down and this is going to be my clav joint and I'm, I, I typically give it a subtle rotation and I can even bring it up just a smidget more maybe maybe about here and what I can do when I do that and actually I would like to make it a little bit smaller. Oop. Control vertex.
make sure I didn't accidentally. Uh, just a little bit. Um, so hold on. I like to keep it at the 90 degree angle before I start to make any other rotations on this. And I'm, I'm being a little bit too particular um, because it doesn't need to be perfect, but if I do it the way I'd like the first time, um, I won't have to do it again. All right, so now I'm gonna, um, I can snap this directly to this, the clavicle joint, and I can rotate it just a little bit. And I really actually think that's pretty good, but just to show you, you could also, let's just say you wanted to move it up a little bit. What you can do is now take that pivot point, oops, and snap it back onto the clav joint. But I'm going to leave it like this, but just so you know, so you can actually snap those joints. Okay. Ooh, I feel a sneeze coming on. All right. So now that I've got that done, uh, I'm just going to continue pushing forward and I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to put this one at the shoulder. I'm going to rotate it at 90 degrees and then I'm going to scale it down. Something like so and then again duplicate this one go to the elbow joint scale it down a little bit duplicate it one more time and now I'm going to go to the wrist alright so now that I've got that all done um, and scale it down now that I've got that all done I want to go through this and name them root uh, CTRL for control this will be uh, waist CTRL spine 1 CTRL spine 2 CTRL chest CTR oh. CTRL. This will be L clav CTR CTRL. Now, unlike the L shoulder CTRL, L elbow CTRL, unlike the joint and L wrist CTRL. Unlike the joints, uh, we were able to just simply click a button that says mirror and it flips it over for us. Um, these don't work like that, but we're gonna take another step right now and we're gonna do, we're gonna go through this entire thing one more time. We're gonna highlight the root joint. We're gonna go modify and freeze transformations and we're gonna do that for each one. And I'm just tapping G on my keyboard for last key, uh, tool used, which is freeze transformations. Okay. And then I also need to create the neck and I could go to the base of the neck but for this one I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to also rotate it down and scale it oh, inward. That'll be my neck control and modify freeze transformations. And then I'm also going to create one last controller and I'll do that. I'll just duplicate this one. And this one I um, call the head control 
And what I do with this one is I go to Control Vertex, and I grab these on this side, and rotate it. And I could also just scale them in, like so, and then do something like that, maybe bring these in to make it a little bit tinier. And now I'll take this one and scale it in that way, and even something like so. Okay. And I'm going to take this one and snap it right to that controller. Oop, that joint is what I mean, the head joint here. All right. And in this particular case, I'm actually going to bring it a little bit more over this way. And now I'm going to re-snap it as I was showing you before. over to here to the uh, I think what is this one called spine one neck neck four uh, joint all right and this is going to be let's go here grab this this and this and actually bring that back a little bit all right so there's my head control All right, and then modify and freeze transformations. And there we go, I've got, uh, now the only thing I have left is to do the opposite side. Now there's two ways to do this. As you've seen before, you could essentially um, slide the pivot point to zero. And then duplicate and scale at negative one. But then you also have to remember to center pivot again. In this case, I actually have to snap it down. So instead of it doing it that way, let me undo that a couple times. All right, so instead of doing it that way, you could also just, since you already froze transformations, duplicate it snap it to the opposite side joint and then scale at negative one and then again you're going to want to make sure you freeze transformations let me just hide the body real quick um, modify freeze transformations this one same exact thing except you don't have to scale at negative one you'll just have to do freeze transformations again now what's the one thing that I'm forgetting here to do Again, besides the freeze transformations, I just skipped on that one. What is the other thing I need to do? Right, I need to rename it. So instead of this being L, this one's going to be R. And instead of L, I'm deleting the number that automatically happens at the beginning too. This one will be R. And last one. R. Enter. So there is the starting point of my character rig. So basically what's going to happen is that these controllers are actually going to manipulate the joints. So we're going to have what we call a uh, character rig on this, or uh, animation rig, if you will. And. Uh, that's all I've got for you in this one, so just make sure that you've got all of these named. And then um, up to this point, you can also even do an edit, delete all by type, and history. And then um, in the next video, we're going to get into creating the uh, finger controls and uh, connecting the rig. So those are the next starting to connect these, this rig to it. 
So those are the next few steps that we have for the upper body. Other than that, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. And message me if you have any questions.